Please welcome to the stage Craig Krickerberg. Some of those pictures were 30 years old, just so you know that. <laughs> um, I'm wowed to be standing up here before everybody uh, to, to receive this award. Uh, my parents, like, like the, the video said, my mother backed over a garbage can. Uh, my father always put metal fenders on his trucks. And so they kept getting bent up, bent up 30 years ago, and then mom backed over the garbage can and he decided that you know, put his foot in, popped it out, and said, if I could make fenders out of this, I'd have something. And uh, here we are. Uh, now, 31 years later, we just celebrated our 30th anniversary. So as, as we move forward, I mean, as I stand here, and, I, and we're going to get to 100 million. I tell my team that every day. Uh, and I listen to people that have gone from zero to 250 million, and they still consider that a small business, so I'm excited that we'll get there. <laughs> Um, but first of all, I'd like to congratulate all the other winners. I got two potential customers in here, Loop Tech, Rock On, just make sure you guys remember that, I got catalogs. <laughs> I don't, <clears throat> you never quit selling. But no, to all the other, the other um, nominees and, and, and so on and so forth, congratulations for being here. It's kind of cool for us all to be here. Uh, they call it the Success Award. Are we really ever successful? I mean, are we really ever done? We're not. I mean, yeah, we're successful in our eyes, but we just keep pounding away every day. And so I always tell new business owners, keep going. I got a little kid in Blooming Prairie that uh, bought his parents' four-lane bowling alley. He goes to the bathroom and throws up a lot when he doesn't sell anything one day. So he, uh, he's struggling, but he's trying, and that's what he's, that's, uh, and he's gonna make it because he's got the tenacity and the drive to do it, just like everybody else that was in this room. Uh, I'd like to thank Twin City Business for doing this for everybody here and for, for Minimizer. Uh, also, the sponsors. Uh, my um, professional advisors hate it when we win something like this because accountants, attorneys, insurance guys come out of the woodworks and try to steal them away. <laughs> so you guys know who you are. Uh, and all the team at Minimizer. Uh, without a year and a half ago, we were at 50 employees. Today, we're at 75. Uh, the funniest part about that is my CFO is from London, England, uh, and my marketing director is from Birmingham, Alabama. Sit in that meeting and listen to that conversation. <laughs> the guy from Alabama is still trying to figure out what all aluminum is. And thank my, and so my team and, and everybody, without them, I didn't get here alone. Uh, my, like I said, my parents started, I bought it for my parents in 06. Right now they're enjoying uh, beautiful sunny Arizona, so uh, they're not here with us this evening. And next, I have to thank my kids who put up with this for 30 years. Uh, and the drive that, um, I'd like to survey the entrepreneurs in the room um, someday and say, okay, your kids watching you, what did they do with their lives? And, and my oldest daughter is now 30, I think, I'm hoping. She has her own um, office. She called me last night. She goes, hey, Dad, I got my own office finally. I'm going to borrow some down payment money for the, the lease. She's a <laughs> marriage and family therapist, and I think she's up to like 30 clients, so I got to give her kudos there she, all by herself. And then my number two daughter works for Geico. Uh, the last three years, she's the number one salesperson for the Midwest region for Geico. And Tyler and Trevor both work for us, my twins. They grew up in the business. And you've seen the pictures when these little kids were jumping on fenders. Now they're 24 today. <laughs> and if they knew how much money I made off of them over the advertising, <laughs> the inheritance isn't going to be enough. <laughs> and so I have to thank them, too, a lot. Um, Tyler... Uh, the oldest twin, um, he 
get, stole our vinyl cutter out of the basement of one of our offices, started cutting vinyl, you know, the stickers in the back of pickups and things when he was 15. Uh, right now I'm a 51% owner. He's 49. He's, we're, we're getting through that. He wants 1% back and we'll go even Steven, but I don't see how that's going to work. <laughs> and uh, so he, we have a large format printing company. From a vinyl cutter, we went to a large format printing company like this, the signs you've seen out there and so forth. He runs that and owns half, no, 49%. And Trevor, the youngest, the youngest one in the family, the other twin, he's my go-to guy. You gotta remember they grew up in the business with us. And so I can hire an employee, I can hire really good employees because that's what I have. But when it comes to family, they just get it. I don't have to sit down and give them the paragraph. I can give them one sentence and they can go get it done. And Trevor's my go-to guy. If I gotta put him on an airplane to go look at a piece of equipment or if I just need him to put gas in my car. He just gets it. You know, and so, and so he's, uh, he's my guy, he's my clone. But uh, I got one quick story because the last time I stood up here for 20 minutes, he freaked out. <laughs> um, we're working on a project for the New York City Sanitation Department. Uh, one of our distributors in the region called me uh, in Brooklyn. He said, hey, I got a project, New York City, can you come out? So we were doing, I fly out to my engineers and uh, VP of Ops were out there doing the install in a repair garage, and I made sure to fly out late so I didn't have to help. <laughs> and I get out there, and I was in there with them, and, and they were struggling with you know, mounting this thing on this garbage truck. And I said, well, if you just do this, you do this, you do this, and then bend this, and they cut that off. And the engineer looks at me and goes, okay. And uh, he takes off and goes and does his little thing, and, my VP of Ops looks at me and goes, you really like this shit, don't you? <laughs> That's why we all as business owners get up every morning because we really like this shit. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>